right guys so the leaks and updates are officially in absolutely everything new coming out for dragon ball legends tonight for the weekly reset update now uh quickly before we even start guys shout out to Groose dog as well as pro digital they work really hard to get these data mines for us uh so shout out to them and i feel like they never get the credit they deserve so i always link them on my twitter if you guys want to go check them out and support them uh by all means please just give them a follow so uh yeah and if you guys do enjoy the content and find value in today's video make sure you guys simply subscribe and all that good stuff because why not it's free and i'd also greatly appreciate it so let's not waste any time guys let's jump into the video and by the way i will keep you guys updated as we go on uh before the weekly reset update on my twitter if we get anything additional i just want to push this video out as quickly as possible so like i said let's not waste any time first things first is we are going to get choice battle back now you know this choice battle is cool and all we get the erasers the panenko medals uh some skip tickets i guess which is not really valuable at this point in time and some energy which is really cool uh but i just really wish they were to bring back the crystals onto this because that's what made this event special to begin with i mean these events right here to be honest guys like honestly like they, they've been just slowly taking out crystals before the legends festival on purpose uh and in that way when the legends festival does come on three weeks from now they're gonna say hey we can grind 10,000 crystals off this legends festival but in reality they just took out everything and just replaced it as opposed to making the legends festival special on its own um like before right here we were able to grab at least 500 then they reduced it to 300 now it's just all these uh you know uh metals and erasers and stuff like that which is nice but they definitely need to add more crystals the bottom event is the super saiyan uh kid goku for free to play unit now i have not read his kit yet we're gonna read that together uh, i've been super busy i was just finishing up a workout so i'm pretty tired uh but yeah we are gonna uh, read his kit i've heard good things so far um about him so we're gonna check that out now we are gonna get three brand new pvp messages something that really stood out to me is ultimate gohan man this is ultimate gohan from the dbz uh you know maja busog when he fought you know uh buhan so honestly or when he got absorbed by buhan honestly this kind of threw me off because usually the pvp messages uh resembles as to what is going on right now uh with the upcoming characters and stuff like that so maybe something majin buu related majin buu Sog related who knows we'll have to wait and see i highly doubt we're gonna get like an ultimate gohan but who knows but we're also gonna get another gohan message here from the namek saga which is pretty interesting and then as well as the super saiyan 3 kid goku here uh from gt which is really nice so uh you gotta love some pvp messages um you know showdown season 2 pvp obviously uh just like season one i'm assuming we're gonna get double rewards so guys just get to the top 10,000. it's very very simple stuff um it's, it's gonna be worth the while because it's gonna be the last uh pvp season before the legends festival itself and in this one we can grab at least 2,000 crystals plus so just do your uh do your pvp it's very simple guys now we are gonna get three brand new pvp messages um or i'm sorry uh this is a pvp message and these two are equipments up top which is this piccolo and namekian equipment i wonder what this is um they're kind of pushing the namekian not namekian but kind of like region agenda as of late like last week we got the um the legends region volume i don't know three it's just so useless honestly i made a meme about it but uh people actually thought i was gonna be summoning on that but i really wasn't um maybe we're gonna get since we're getting gt and we're gonna be talking about that in just one bit but maybe a super baby 2 alongside the legends festival with the super saiyan fours that's a very strong possibility as of right now also to the right hand side we are gonna get a super saiyan kid goku i'm assuming it's gonna be a gt or a gt super saiyan something something like that like equipment so um yeah we'll have to wait and see i'll keep you guys updated with that on my twitter like i mentioned now really quick guys this is the artwork for this super saiyan goku absolutely clean if you guys want to go check out these artworks by all means just like i said go to my twitter it's dbzoom underscore yt and i'll link it down below as well now this might be small for you guys to read honestly and like i said you can always go check this out on my twitter i know i keep sounding like a broken record but i'm gonna read this out to you guys i have yet to read this myself i'm very curious to see what he does I do know that he buffs with his Z ability, uh, of course, event exclusive as well as Sun Family. I don't think he buffs GT, man. Let me double check. Yeah, he does. <laughs> It'd be silly for them not to. So GT, Sun Family, and event exclusive. But uh, let's just really quick read what he does here. All right, so this is kind of small for me too, so just bear with me. It says here, um, for his main ability, draw a Blast card next. I'm assuming he's a Blast range type unit because of this 
Uh, also restores own health by 50% and key by 50 as well. Very straightforward, nothing else, but that's a pretty good main ability right there. 50 health is really, really big, and they mentioned that in the preview before, but 50 key is also pretty big. And draw a blast card next, okay? Also increases damage inflicted according to the timer passed from the battle start up to 70%. 10 timer, uh, 10 timer counts, you get 20% uh, damage inflicted. 50 timer counts, which is a lot, 40% <laughs> damage inflicted. And then 80, yeah, and then 80, wow, that's a little bit too much, but 80% is 70% damage inflicted, up to 70%. So you could get a whopping 70% damage. I'm assuming on top of whatever else this kit has, so let's check this out. Also, the, the requirements uh, to have passed must be at least um, 10 timer counts. I'm assuming that's for his, uh, for his main ability. Um, and his unique um, is, let's see, the, the little arrow is kind of covering here. The following effects occur when the battle starts. 90% uh, damage inflicted. Okay, so this is on top of the 90% damage inflicted, which is really, really good. A lot of damage. Also, 30% damage inflicted for 50 timer counts. Okay. And reduces damage received by 50%. Also reduces damage received by 15% for 50 timer counts. This character is already really good damage-wise, guys. He gets 90% plus 30%. So that's at 120%. And then plus whatever else he gets from his main ability. Very, very strong already. I'm really liking this. Um, I still have to check his stats out, but so far, so good. Also, applies the following effects itself per tag GT. So they're pushing the GT agenda on this character for sure. Battle member, other than this character in the party when the battle starts. And well, an extra 15% damage inflicted, as well as an extra plus 25% to keep recovery. So that's an Dude, he gets a lot of damage inflicted. This is crazy. This guy might be hitting like a truck. Okay, so I'm I'm quite impressed so far for a free-to-play character. I mean, honestly, Super 17 was really, really good. This character is looking very, very impressive as well. But I still want to see if he has maybe color uh, or cover notification or something like that. So, um, the fall effects occurs when enemy performs a cover change. Okay, so this is what, we, what was previewed. So, anytime an enemy cover changes, uh, he restores his own key by 50. Also, randomly draws one new card, okay, when you have three or fewer, and randomly destroys two enemy cards. Okay, so we, we went over that before, so okay. Um, okay, next up is the following effects occur every time this character is faced with an enemy. Increases our card draw speed by level one for 10 timer counts. Okay, so he has card draw speed, that's very important. Also, inflicts enemies uh, with attribute downgrade minus one card draw speed. So he gets one card draw speed. He downgrades your card draw speed for 10 timer counts. Very good so far. Applies the following effects itself every time an arts card is drawn while this character is on the battlefield. Restores vanish gauge by 10% plus damage, plus 10% damage inflicted for 10 timer counts. So an extra, wow. So an extra 10% damage. This, guy's gonna be, this guy gets a lot of damage buffs. Wow, a lot. Okay. Also applies the following effects to self one character. Evades an enemy's attack with a vanish step. Key recovery by 50. Also draws a card when you have one or fewer. Okay, so this guy looks like a lot of fun. Honestly. Card draw speed. A lot, a lot of damage buffs. A lot. Like a lot. Okay. So, yeah. And then his green card is just very basic. Um, I'm not going to go over that right now. Destroys all enemies special. Okay, so this green card is actually pretty good too. Any buffs, GT, of course, Sun Family, as well as, um, of course, um, you know, uh, event exclusive. So, guys, he looks quite impressive. I am uh, satisfied so far with what I'm seeing. Although, we still have a summon uh, maintenance going on. And we don't have a summon uh, banner yet. So, I'll keep you guys updated with that on my Twitter. But guys, that's going to wrap it up. Let me push out this video to you guys as quickly as possible. Um, if you guys did enjoy the video, make sure you guys simply like, subscribe, and all the good stuff. And I'd love to catch you guys once again tomorrow morning for a crystal video and a showcase for this monster of a unit. So, catch you guys then. Have a good one. Peace.